Funspot Kissimmee gave enthusiasts a surprise Christmas gift with Hurricane, a new for 2019 roller coaster that literally opened on Christmas Eve. Hurricane was relocated from Wild Adventures in Georgia, and before that, it was relocated from the now defunct Celebration City in Branson, Missouri. In this ride is a clone of the infamous Starjet roller coaster that fell into the Atlantic Ocean during Superstorm Sandy. I was always intrigued by that odd looking coaster, so I was bummed it drowned. But fortunately, Funspot Kissimmee gave me a chance at redemption by reopening a clone of this ride. Mylar is well known for their kiddie coasters, and in fact, they probably make some of the best kiddie coasters around. The reason being, they're a bit more aggressive. But every once in a while, they build a full size coaster, and the results can be awkward. Hurricane looks like a family coaster, but don't be fooled, this is an aggressive ride. This ride has incredibly abrupt transitions ranging from hairpin turns, janky low of the ground turns, and sharp drops. But before I talk about the ride experience, I want to talk about the ride's location. While it's owned by Funspot Kissimmee, and it is part of the wristband, it's technically not even in the park. To get to Hurricane, you have to walk to the very back of the old town area adjacent to the park. And this area really just felt dead and lifeless. It didn't feel like an amusement park. It more felt like a traveling carnival plopped down. I'm hoping Fun Spa can breathe life in this area in the near future. Again, I'm not looking for theming, I'm just hoping it has more of an amusement park vibe. Hurricane has a three car train, and with such a short train, you wouldn't think there'd be a major difference between a ride in the front and back, but there is. This is definitely a back row ride in my opinion. The front has better laterals. Almost every turn in this coaster is an unbanked hairpin turn. There's one notable exception, but I'll get to that in a bit. Meanwhile, the back will have much stronger airtime. Almost every hill in this ride will give airtime. Up front, it's more of the floater variety, but in back, you get some ejector airtime. And you can really appreciate the airtime due to the loose seatbelt and unobtrusive lap bar. That's a high level overview of Hurricane, but I want to give a more detailed play by play. Hurricane starts with a 52 foot drop. Back row riders oddly won't get airtime as you crest the drop, but you get a pop of ejector halfway down. At the bottom, the track banks a bit to the left. It's not the most graceful maneuver, but it's tolerable. You then rise up a turnaround, and front seat riders will get a nice pop of floater airtime, and then you rip around the first hairpin turn. Afterwards is the lone drop in this ride that doesn't provide airtime but it's followed by the worst part of the ride by far. Remember how I said not every turn was a hairpin turn? Well, Hurricane decided to put an awkwardly banked, high speed, low to the ground turn after the second drop. It looks brutal. It looks like an accident in Planet Coaster and No Limits, but this is real. Oh, this is very real, and it's brutal. As a whole, I liked Hurricane, but I dreaded this moment on every ride. My calves would bash violently against the lap bar. Fortunately, Myler recognized the error in their ways, and they spend the rest of the ride essentially on turnarounds. As I mentioned earlier, the front row riders will get the floater airtime, and the back row riders will get the ejector airtime. The one exception is this bunny hill in the middle of the ride. This hill gives some amazing ejector airtime everywhere on the train. Just look at how violently it throws riders from their seats. You'd be goners without that lap bar. So what do I rank Hurricane? I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It loses an entire point for that second turn because of how awful it is. And I could very well see that turn ruining the ride for some people. But I was willing to look past that turn and appreciate the ride's airtime and laterals because this coaster essentially is a quadruple out and back. It may not be as good as the late Scandia Screamer, but it's a nice compliment to Mind Blower at this park. Have you been on Hurricane or any of the large size Miler coasters? I'd be interested to hear about your experiences below. Thanks for listening.